I'm going to show you how I went from this to... And now it looks like this. Hey guys, and welcome to Anderson Lane today. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. We'd love you to become part of our YouTube family. I'm going to show you guys the messy truth of what's under my sink. It has been too long since I have cleaned underneath there. Now it's time for a deep cleaning and some organization. All the products that I'm using today come from discount stores, either the Dollar Store or Ross. Hopefully that helps you guys if you are looking for something to organize with. Okay guys, this is the nasty truth of what is under my sink. Way too much. Yeah. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm going to start off with taking everything out and just cleaning up and putting some liners down so that it keeps it all nice and clean after I'm done. We are dealing with a garbage disposal, so that changes our space, which I'll show you when we get done. And this is how gross it was after we got everything out. I'm just gonna clean this up really quick and then put some liner down. And then we're going to sort through all of this stuff. <laughs> this whip it is what I like to use to clean up everything. This is a full bottle. I can use just a little bit of this in a water bottle and fill it up and use this for like a year or so. That is what is in this bottle. Okay, it's not perfect, but it is clean, and now we're gonna put in the pretty stuff. I find that if I use nice contact paper that I really like, or a covering on the bottom that makes it look good to me, then I will keep it cleaner because I like the way that it looks. So there's a kind of a motivation tip. If you want to try and keep something clean, maybe make it look nice and pretty, and then you'll try to keep it that way because you like it. I'd like to pretend that this stuff went on really easy, but actually it took me a while. But the end look is absolutely worth the frustration of putting it on. Now it's pretty fast. Now it's time to sort through everything. This is what happens when you don't check what you have before you go and get something else. So this week I went to the dollar store and picked up a few things to use for this. So I got two of these cute little wire baskets, a clear container, and these little baskets here. Okay guys, now that everything is nice and sorted, I have everything in all of these little bins. Everything that I have here, all of these bins are from the dollar store, so you can pick them up at your local dollar store. So everything is nice and sorted. Now we're gonna get ready to put everything back in. So I'm gonna start with stuff that goes in the back, stuff that I don't use that much. I got this cute little rack at the dollar store and it fits just perfect in there. And actually this fits nice and perfect underneath there so I can just pull it out. Now everything has its own place and it looks very nice. And our dish soap. And that is it, it is all nice and clean. I hope this helps motivate you to clean out under your sink and know that you can do it on a dime. It's not a big expense. Thanks again for watching you guys. We'll see you again next time. Bye.